So here's part two of uh, Bitcoin and um, let's go down to the weekly chart now. We could, well, while we're here, we could draw a couple of uh, ascending and descending trend lines. So uh, clearly got something going on there, which has been broken and clearly got something going on there. So um, I don't worry about this one, two, three touches and all that malarkey. All I'm worried about is uh, just uh, putting a very um, uh, rough, um, rough uh, trend line on there. And I do, rather than, uh, you know, observe the high of that candle, it's the last uh, candle, the latest candle in the... Uh, in the move that uh, I observe. The opposite though isn't true of this situation. Uh, the major support overrides the extreme. I wouldn't be drawing a um, connecting that to that if that makes any sense. I hope it does. Same way if this was higher here then I would be connecting that and that as opposed to this one here. I hope that makes sense. So um, let's have a look at the weekly see what that can tell us now. Um, well, that was the reversal to the downside for the weekly. Low, high, high, low, high, high. High, low, lower high. No close below this low, so we don't count that when we just continue with the song. Lower, low, lower high, lower, low, and close. So I'll mark that uh, level on there for you. That green candle there. So, um... What can we also uh, draw from this chart here? Well, once that's closed, you expect the pullback and the test. And there, lo and behold, there it is. You know, I've not picked this chart, cherry-picked it. It's Bitcoin. It's uh, because it's moving as we speak. And um, it's... Uh, I'm not sure whether I mentioned in the previous video. It's just a demo chart. You can open it with IG in Index. If you want to open one, freely available, you don't have to uh, sign up for an account with them or anything like that. And um, Bob's your uncle. So, um, right, where would we expect this price to go once it's reversed? Well, what we can do, we can draw a, um, a map, if you like, of uh, potential support and resistance below us. So, it hit that one failed to close but this is what I was trying to explain before that isn't the as powerful as that that support from that candle it's the break of trend the break of the old trend with the new trend with this thing that doesn't happen very often and if you want to prove it to yourself you've got thousands and thousands and thousands of days of charts to go back and check these reversals what I call confirmed reversals for yourself and build up a uh, picture of whether you like it or not. Um, in case you're new to this, this MA is the hourly 8 MA. In fact, it's not on the weekly. It shouldn't even be on the weekly. It's probably the uh, it's the weekly 3 MA. I do apologise. But what I used to have on my charts before coming across Digger 1 on Forex Factory with his 8 MA was the 1 and the 3. Because you'll often find when the 1 and 3 cross over you will have that uh, configuration on your chart. So don't mention that very often either. So that's interesting. One and three will almost, if I put that um, uh, alert on here, uh, that, uh, yeah, that alert, that indicator, where I have the arrows, if I put that on there, you'd see that almost certainly the one and three were where these, uh, um, these break and close um, <clears throat> patterns happen. Like for instance, this would be one here. Uh, high, low, forget the internals until you break the low of that one, uh, lower high, lower low, and uh, then the reversal would be the break up of this one here, low, high, higher, low, higher, high and close above the green candles high there, and that's your reversal. And for argument's sake, I will put this uh, one and three on there, one and three crossover I mean, just to show you what I mean. <clears throat> Excuse me. First moving average one 
here my one second moving average three and uh, EMA one or should I say MA mode okay and there it is boom and there it is there and uh, we will see quite a few of these hopefully he says um, and there's none but well these two have confirmed what I was trying to tell you anyway if we go back over the charts digressing a bit here but uh, that's low high well low high high low high 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 low lower high lower low it's failed to close but the price has gone down so I think that's on that one there yeah so so as you can see um, that one looks like it might be um, a valid one that one isn't that one is but we're not worried about this is an indicator that is very vague which is why I um, chose to um, make it absolutely um, find a black and white mechanical method if you like so uh, sorry if I digress there but this is how the whole method that I've uh, devised came about first I was trading the 1 and 3 MA crossover on the candles then I realized I could do this analysis just pure candlesticks get rid of that and the MA's in that matter for that matter um, and um, so hopefully that makes a, you know all of this is a you know a pathway of 15 years of chart analysis um, from 2B reversals to uh, swing trends and then from uh, there to uh, this candlestick trend stuff so so we were up back on this this um, reversal and and then the importance the reversal is so important because it's quite rare especially that close below and the pullback what do I always say if you watch some of my other videos this is a level of support once support is broken price will go back and test it that could even be a method of trading uh, for scalpers because this is massive this move here but you look how many times it does it so a little bit of price action uh, knowledge there so we can draw all the levels and we can then start to think about trading between those levels and this is why I love this because you're not worrying about oh is that swing a swing low swing high on the on the charts you're just looking at precise levels on your uh, candlesticks highs and lows so we can put a green on the bottom of that red one and a green on the bottom of that green one and I miss this green one here as well a green on the bottom of that green one and as you can see you've got massive clear space once these li this line is broken and we're on a weekly chart now guys so uh, these moves are stupendous that's uh, 69,212 points pips or whatever it is and bearing in mind your spread is 3,600 so if you've got a 69,000 odd move your spread is uh, negligible and that's just a weekly chart guys so nothing wrong with that and um, I think I will draw that to a close on the weekly chart so that's uh, BTC USD educational um, video none of my stuff disclaimer is uh, um, to be traded it's just for education stay safe guys thanks for watching have a lovely weekend